Hello, in this tutorial we'll be designing this socket bearing. So to start, let's just start a new part and we'll go into our units and change the units to metric and another thing I will change here is my image quality. Now just increase this up and click OK. So we'll click on the top plane and sketch and I'm just going to move this here and on the origin point I'm going to draw a circle something like that and I'm just going to draw a line coming down and I'm going to make that line a construction line and this circle it is um, is right here it is the first circle so that is a 9 the diameter is 9 and we are going to draw two more circles something over there and make these two circles these two circles horizontal to each other and select these three circles and make them equal to each other so all these circles are nine then the next thing we need to add the dimension from this point to that center point is 62 and we're gonna zoom that down 62 and we need one more and what we can do is select this point select this point select that point and select the center the center line and make it symmetric to each other so that way if we add any dimension to this so we have the 76 and the 38 which is half of the 76 you can just select the center line and to that origin point and if you drag it it gives you the diameter or you can do the radius it doesn't really matter I'm going to do the diameter which is 76 and that is fully defined and that's what we want so the next thing we need to do is just draw three circles at the origin point of that set of those circles and make those three circles also equal to each other and what we want to do is draw a line that is tangent to these three circles. Draw another line on this side that's touching that. And don't it doesn't matter if the line is tangent, just draw it. And we are going to fix it now. So select that line, select the circle, make it tangent. And you pretty much do the same thing all the way around. Make it tangent, select that line, and that circle, make it tangent select this line and that circle tangent and this line and this circle also tangent so once you have that you press your trim and I'm using trim to closest and I'm just going to trim off this the, the line the the circle on the inside and I think I need to make it tangent on this side select this line and make it tangent okay so everything looks good and you need to see those tangent there to make sure that they are tangent and the next thing we need to do is add a, um, a dimension to this which is going to be a radius of 14 which is right here 14 and the next thing we're going to do is go into the feature extrude and you can either extrude it up or down it doesn't really matter we're just going to extrude it up and it's 10 so we're going to extrude it up 10. So now on this back face, we are going to draw another sketch and make it normal too. And now what we want to do is just draw a circle over here and we are drawing this profile and make sure the circle and this origin point are vertical and that circle, the diameter for that circle is 33. So we make it 33 and we just draw a line, a line coming down, another line on this end coming down. So the line is going to be tangent to this circle and coming down and we're going to close it. So the next thing we need to draw is from the bottom of that part to the center point is 24. So we are going to add the bottom to the top is 24 and again we are going to trim the inside so the trim 
trim the circle on the inside and we have that profile. So now what we need to do is extrude this feature. We are going to extrude it but in the opposite direction. And as you can see from here back, the entire thing is 70 and it's 22. So we can just subtract 70 minus 22. And it gives us 48 and that will be that the length of that part going in so good so the next thing we need to do is on this face sketch and we are going to go normal to and just draw a circle and what there are two things you can do you can either click on this circle and click this edge you can make it co-radial or you can make it some uh, concentric if you make it concentric you still have to add the dimension so um, let's make it radio so it's the same as that because if you look it's the same as that so once we have that our sketch is fully defined we are just going to extrude it in this direction 22 so that will be 22 and click OK and the next thing we need to do now is click on this face and start a sketch and go normal to and we are going to just draw a circle so my center point of that circle was highlighted and i clicked on it but if not you can click that circle and click this edge and make sure it is concentric so the center point of those two circles are both on the same point then what we're going to do is add a dimension to it which is going to be dimension for that is going to be 16 it's right here and the depth is 54 so 16 we'll click OK and we want to extrude cut this feature going in 54 and we'll click OK and the last thing we need to do is just add our fillet so we we'll click the fillet and as you can see over here the fillet and radius is 2 so we we'll click 2 and we want to add a fillet to um, this edge I think it's on the bottom edge too so we'll just add it to it the bottom edge this edge this edge and this edge and I believe right under here so once we have our fillet we we'll click OK and that is how you make this part and if I just um, click go into my view and I just go into my isometric view as you can see let me click on the on another view you can see and that is that part and that is how you make that one thank you and I will see you in the next tutorial bye